Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I'm here at Rattlesnake Canyon. It's pretty windy and cold. In fact, I was just out of the car facing Rattlesnake Canyon, which looks like it has a lot of rattlesnakes in it. And uh, the wind, a gust of wind almost blew me sideways. So I thought I'd film this video in the car. <laughs> and so here I am. I just got finished um, walking down into Carlsbad Cavern, which is 80 stories deep. And I had just gotten down there and was starting to explore the great room at the bottom when the ranger came up and said it was time to go back up again. <laughs> so it was quite an experience, a beautiful experience. I hope you have a chance to do it sometime. And when I got out, I was going on this, this long loop um, uh, across the, the top of the mountain here on a gravel road, and uh, I discovered something. And so I thought I'd tell you about it. You know, I've talked in the past about telepathy and cl the clear senses. And uh, one form of telepathy is to, pro is to project thought, speech, out from the from the throat chakra like this uh, on the astral plane and to receive thought forms through the um, third eye point this way um, so we can receive other people's thoughts coming in actually they pass straight through the brain and make an impression on it on their way in and we can respond uh, with our voices through this the fifth chakra right here is that how it goes fifth sixth seventh yeah. And so I, when I came out from the caves, I was kind of tired, and the telepathy started up again, uh, which is not always something that I enjoy. It can be very tiring. So um, I tried concentrating on exactly what was going on in, in terms of Claire telepathy so as to modulate and control it. And what happened when I concentrated was I began to experience awareness. If you can imagine, like, right here, only in the center of my head, halfway between my throat and my third eye point, in the center of my head, I began to experience awareness and all that activity slowed down and pretty much stopped and was replaced by a kind of a, a very high-pitched but beautiful um, sound. It's hard to explain the super hearing sounds. Um, but but through super hearing, we can hear very, very low sounds below the register of our ears, which are grounding, earthing sounds that carry like the dense experience of duality and also help us to ground to earth, deep into the core of earth. And then there are the um, super high frequency sounds that, that we could never hear with our ears, you know, but can be extraordinarily beautiful. To me, they feel like they're coming from the angelic realm. Just a beautiful chiming sound that doesn't alter it or modulate it, just continues on and on in a very high register uh, that, that actually helps my mind to, to maintain a constant state of no thought, you see. So that happens every once in a while, and it's happening now. So I'll sign off. I'll talk to you all later. Have a wonderful day.